What is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video today we're gonna take a look at this batman returns 2.0 we're gonna call him 2.0 they didn't but we will i will at least um and and we, if you're interested you can pre-order this at bigbadtoystore.com i'll put the link down below there's two versions of this uh you got the deluxe version which you have this which is the um uh, just we don't even call that the deluxe version we call it the no-brainer version uh because you do get this amazing head sculpt which initially on the first version um there's two pack as well there's two versions one is just the regular which doesn't have the head sculpt and you got the two pack version where you have just a regular you know figure and then a second body or a full figure basically that has michael keaton in a tux and People were making fun of that head sculpt back then. They were saying, you know, he's not, that's not really Michael Keaton. That's his stunt double and all that stuff. But this 2.0 version is much improved. Um, I think the likeness is great. Um, some people argue, you know, but I, I definitely see Michael Keaton in there. Um, rolling eyeball system. Also a game changer. I so, The cape looks a lot better, at least in the prototype. It drapes a lot nicely compared to the previous one. I like the diorama base that was included as well. And here he looks great next to the Batmobile. Um, I like the diorama. And you can interchange it to a Catwoman. They just announced, well, Jazz Inc. just announced they had their own version of Catwoman. You know what it means. Hot Toys is going to make one. So, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we'll see, right? But this one has this you know, glider cape, which looks pretty good. You know, it's just a separate. I just don't know how to how to keep that, you know. You could buy, I think it's easy to kit bash a body with a tuxedo on it. You know, kind of like what's on the second. So the deluxe version is a no-brainer right now. They're just easy. You got to get the, the deluxe version. I, I don't know how many people, especially with the price difference of not even that much. You're getting a beautiful diorama base and not mentioning the rolling eyeball system head sculpt. I, if I was Hot Toys, I'm not going to do a whole lot of the non-deluxe version because that is, it, you, it's, not even, it's not even logical to buy, let's say, the deluxe and then buy the non-deluxe. And it was like, oh, I'm going to display them two different options. So, okay, so you're going to display one without a mask, I suppose. You might as well use this. I mean, if you're a big fan, I, I get it. But at that price point, you might as well buy two deluxe then. Yeah, because the price difference really isn't in, isn't big enough. Like, you would buy this head sculpt easily for $100. You know, like the price difference, I think, is 60 80 plus that beautiful base. It, it just doesn't, you know, doesn't add up. But it looks good. The mouth plate looks better as well compared to the DX092.0. And and now I wonder how is this gonna uh, gonna affect? Are we gonna see the DX092.0 available now? Because a lot of people canceled it because of a lot of issues. You know the texture on the on on the suit itself. They're saying that I I don't have that 89 Batman myself. Maybe I'll pick it up. Um, the mouth plates isn't that great. Um, you know, there's there was there's a few concerns with that figure. So with the announcement of this, although I would say this is gonna be what like another year at least before we get it. But this is the announcement. This is a proper announcement for what 85 years of Batman or whatever, how many years that is, compared to what we were announced a couple of days. I didn't even made made a video about that. Um, you know. Arkham Batman that they repainted to make it to make it made it gold. And look at this base right here. That is beautiful. You can interchange it to a Catwoman. Woo. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, we are gonna get a Michelle P uh, Pfeiffer one. So if I mean, feel free to grab that uh, Yoast Catwoman. But I don't know. I just get a sense of feeling <laughs> we are gonna get that now from hot toys especially now that there's not a whole lot going on why not right like i never thought i would see the day that they would do redo the x09 and batman returns i thought that the marvel train is just going to keep on going the star wars train but here we are getting another robocop you know getting another batman and all that stuff so i 
getting DX13 2.0, and I'm all for it. I, I honestly, I'd rather see all these guys reissued, um, you know, get a fresh eye on them because it's time. You know, there's some several improvements in terms of technology that has passed that could be passed on to these figures. They 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 didn't get that memo from DX092.0 because there's there was not a whole lot of improvements that was made, uh, but still, you know. Pretty darn good figure. I like this. I like this a lot. If I only have to get one, I, I'm leaning towards this because of the head sculpt. Just that that head sculpt is beautiful. Now, if you're hardcore, and I know a lot of people are hardcore fans of the Keaton Batman, get both the Lux, the Deluxe from 89, two different, you know, two different suits. It offers, you know, totally different offering for you this one gets the head sculpt that one has this this nice church diorama as well it, it would look good on the display now can we see a dx08 reissue or that joker that could use some um some improvements as well there was already a huge i guess difference between the texture from that dx08 to the mime joker mime joker looks like hd you know like 4k if you look closely to that DX08, there's not a whole lot of texture in the face. So I, I can see them. You know, it's plus the purse stick back in the day it isn't too sturdy. You know, sometimes it gets broken and all that stuff. So that could use some, um, you know, some refresher as well. So that would be nice. Um, with this guy, though, I'm excited. I, 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 I don't know. I still think eventually I'll get the 89 Batman. Like I said, wouldn't hurt too. Heck, I'm, I got so many Batmans, it doesn't even make any sense. Heck, I'm not even the biggest fan of this franchise, but I want it. <laughs> I want it. It just, it just looks so iconic. It just looks so good. I prefer this suit. I always did prefer the return suit over the 89. Uh, I don't know. I just like the paneling. Like, it looks like it's a Batmobile. You know, and like he's just the line work and all that. So I like the muscular features of 89 as well. But the texture looks like he is... Um, you know, that, that Batman from Batman Begins with Scarecrow on it. Uh, Bat Demon or something like that. But let me know in the comments. How do you feel about this? For if you have Batman Returns, the previous one, are you going to get this? Are you going to pick this up? I think you should. But let me know in the comments. Are you in for this? Are we expecting a Joker? And what do you think? If Are we going to get a Catwoman as well? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.